Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, I am opening, hold on, gotta find it, my box, which I already did, because, you know, it's me. And I have everything on my face already. So what I'm going to do is show you guys everything I got in my box, what I liked, what I didn't like, and that's it. Let's get into it. The first thing I pulled out of the box were the Farrah Galaxy Gold Dual Ended Tweezers, $12. It was either this or a eyeliner that was going to come in the box, and I wanted these tweezers. But unfortunately, when I tried to use them, I had a lot of difficulty getting them to grip my hairs. So, no using these to pluck my eyebrows. Too bad. The next thing I pulled out of the box were the Cover FX Glitter Drops in Nova. I have been wanting the Glitter FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Nova, but this bottle is $44, so I think, I'm pretty sure that the Enhancer Drops are the same price. And I'm not a big fan of things that are too glittery. Um, it has a beautiful color that complements my skin very well, so it would make a nice highlight, but when you look at the glitter, it is larger than I would like, and I'm gonna adjust my focus so you can see, like, it's very pretty. It has uh, translucent colors, it has color shifting. They're not quite holographic, but it's just too glittery. Uh, I decided to try and apply it today with my primer instead of putting it in my foundation. I figured if I mix it in with my primer and then put my foundation over it, it could kind of, I guess, subdue the glitter so it wouldn't be too much and I only put one tiny drop in it you don't really see too much glitter on camera but what I did notice was throughout the day as my foundation started to fade a bit you could see the glitter kind of popping out now this is Ace Beauty the Grandiose palette which is $24.99 I love the look of this palette. The packaging is beautiful. It has that nice like filigree. This kind of reminds me of that movie, The Count of Monte Cristo, when he has an invitation and invites everybody to a party. I even tried to do something similar for my wedding and I really like it. It's super pretty. Um, however, the colors, I feel like the last couple of eyeshadows I've gotten in BoxyCharm are all this sort of deep red, burntish, and neutral colors. They're beautiful, but now I have so many of them. So this is Jasmine, which is a sort of champagne gold, and it's a metallic. Next I'm going with Patchouli, which is the color of my skin and perfect to set powders with, or set cream products on my eyes with. Next is Clove, which I love this color. It's like a beautiful coral color, and once one of my least favorite colors is now one of my favorites. The metallics in this palette are to die for. They swatch beautifully. They work beautifully on the eye. I was so surprised at how wonderfully they just swatched. Like Myrtle, gorgeous. There's four glitters and four mattes. Poppy is very nice, but you do need to blend it a bit. This is Primrose, which is a beautiful copper. And then here is the Luminous Eye Set, which I believe came in every single one of the BoxyCharm boxes. It was designed with BoxyCharm, um, so I think it's exclusive to the boxes. And it has this beautiful sort of gold wrap on the handles. I love Luxie Eye Brushes. They're my favorite brushes. And I love that these are these small ones. You can use them more for detail work than for, you know, just kind of a blended eye look. Of course, I am a mere mortal, so... I can't really do that much stuff with it, but, you know, I can try. So I decided to start off my eye look by taking my Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer. And I'm just going to use this fluffy brush I have to blend out the primer onto my lid. I decided not to set it. I'm going to go ahead and apply the eyeshadow directly onto it. And I'm starting with Clove on a pointed fluffy brush in the crease. As usual, when I work with a eyeshadow palette that I got in the box, I try not to include other colors from other palettes, just so that you can see how the palette you got works on its own. 
I do feel like it has too many deep colors in it, um, but I did my best to work with what I had. I liked the way that those two colors blended in, and so I picked up Poppy. <laughs> I feel like I just bit off more than I could chew with Poppy. Poppy is a very strong color. If you're going to use it, my recommendation is start off little by little. As you can see, it is super pigmented and it is so dark on my eye. So I just decided to go ahead and blend as much as I could instead of any applying any more of it. So I just took this clean, or not clean, but you know, I didn't put any more powder on this pointed brush and I'm just blending, blending to save my life. Next, I'm taking patchouli on a flat liner brush, or not liner brush, the lid brush. And uh, before I did that, I put down some shape tape over my eyelid to kind of do a cut crease, and I'm filling it in with the lighter colors. I'm taking this pointed, or this angled liner brush by Luxie, and I'm using it to pick up Myrtle. Is it Myrtle? I don't remember what this color is. But it's a beautiful copper, and I'm using it to do the cut crease line in my eye, and it smoothly goes on. It was almost like having an eyeliner pencil instead of a brush with eyeshadow on it. I love the metallics in this palette. Now I'm taking Jasmine, and I'm using it to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. Also in the box was this Bodyography Makeup Brush Cleaner. It's $12, and I have been saying for a while that BoxyCharm needed to start including brush cleaners, because I want to try different brush cleaners to see what's good. What uh, the instructions were on the package were to spray the brush directly and then wipe gently onto a paper towel, or to soak the brush and then rinse it with cold water. So I was going to do just a touch-up clean. Uh, even for a touch-up clean, the cleaning was not that great. I felt like it could have removed more. I use um, my Japanese um, my Japanese brush cleaner, and that works way better than this. But I think for I, let's say if you wanted to travel and bring a brush cleaner with you, this is probably a good one to do. It's just too bad because I had high hopes for it being a good brush cleaner, but nothing so far has been better than the Japanese brush cleaner that I have been using. Alright, so that's everything I got in my BoxyCharm this month. Next month I'm super excited because I got an email that told me I'm getting the BoxyLux, so next month is going to be like super exciting. I cannot wait. I can't believe I was even able to get a BoxyLux because everybody in the world went and got them before me, and so I'm just super excited. Can't wait to see what comes in it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.